Chegu brand is a family-owned business that was started by four brothers. Today, it's designed and distributed in Troy, Michigan. Chegu means highly skillful and crafty lady. Although you can store the needles in their original cases, there are many other options, and some of them are better than original. All these uh, original cases from Chegu, including these, and this is the giveaway. You stay tuned uh, at the end of the video. You will find out who won this. But this is what uh, this came in. I just keep them in a different folder, different case at this point, so I don't use the original one. Different needles come in different cases. The regular ones come in a complete set, small and large. Uh, this is what it looks like on the inside. I will tell you why I like and don't like this case. There are no needles here. The DPNs come in cases like this. I will tell you what I like and what I don't like about this case. This is the latest and the greatest, Forte. This is my favorite case, period. This is just everything that I need, everything in one case. I will tell you about that later. And then the shorties. So the shorties, I do not have the yellow one because I don't use those needles often. As you can see, I have uh, different cables here, even the Flex, uh, the Swift 360. And uh, I still have the stitch markers that I don't particularly like. I'll explain that later. This is what they look like. Um, there they are. I'll get to details in a minute. And this is the smaller ones. They come with a little case. And that's what they look like. So this is the preview of what will be reviewed in this video. Each Chegu case has enough storage for your notions. There are pockets and it holds a good amount of needles. What I do not like about the original cases is the needles uh, just fall out. I will show you it on this one. You can see they really slide out of the those pockets. What was lacking here is the uh, elastic. The elastic keeps the needles put, and that's what I like about them. They just stay there until I need to get a set out and get ready to work with the with the needles. I like this one because it has enough storage to keep the cables and I do use the red ones, the red twists. I do not like Swift 360, they get caught on yarn. Um, there is uh, enough room for pen, a uh, crochet hook that I use all the time, even scissors, um, there's a ruler, and then I keep the extra one here. Uh, Chegu actually has this one too. I do not use these pockets to hold my patterns. They, they come in totally separate thing. And then extra stitch markers and some extra stuff I keep here. Let's say this to, keep, to help me with cables. And then um, tape measure and a little tin with everything that I could possibly need. So it keeps everything that I need. This is my absolutely favorite case, even the little um, thingy here. All right, so this is my favorite, favorite, favorite case out of all. There's a little one that comes with the uh, shorties. It's the same thing. Um, I don't like that they, these are tighter, so they don't fall out quite often. And because they're short, but I don't like the cases because they just fall out. But this is better organization than some other ones. So that's that. I like that it comes with a lot of little goodies and you can easily keep it in a pocket. And also it always comes with the tiny little ruler that's kept in this pocket. So this is, this is great. I really have to give it to Chegu's for their, um, their original cases.
red and maple Bible. I do have the largest one filled with pages. So there are different pages, project pages. Um, this one is the way you get it out is, so this is the Chegdu one. And you can get one page out like that. You can fold it to close it. This is how, how you do it. And then you can just keep it in your, uh, in your bag and hold it, just one page. So this is very convenient. It's not enough extra storage. Um, there's a tiny little zip here where I keep cables and some other stuff, some scissors, something like that, maybe a, a few stitch markers, but this is, this is enough. This is just enough. Um, and I have a different um, addition to it where I would keep some extras. So this is decent. And then if you don't need it, you can just undo this. You can just undo this, put it back, and put it back in the Bible and keep it there. And I have many, many, many Chegu needles. So for me, this is this this is a good storage. This is a good solution to keep all of my needles organized. And I have different kinds. So uh, there is Addis there. So that's that's that. This is the biggest Bible ever. Another page out of thread and maple. In here, I just keep my gold tip needles. Um, it even gives me some extra space here um, and a crochet hook. And that's just the way they organized. Um, this is for signature needles, but they're similar in size and in what they are. So I just keep the cables here. This is what it looks like for some other needles. So just, just for your information, this is, um, they have different styles for different needles and i do like the elastic that keeps the needles they stay put even the crochet hook it doesn't slide out nothing like that and again you can just take it with you on a fly magpie fibers this is the maxwell utility roll um, this is decent storage it keeps most of my needles um, I have a lot of Chegu's need Chegu needles because this is the workhorse. The Chegu's are a workhorse for me. As you can see, I have to tuck them in every single time they slide out. This is not my favorite case because there's no elastic here. If there would have been elastic, this would be my go-to, but it's not because of that. They always fall out and I always just try to get it tighter to roll it tighter, but it's just not happening. So what do I do here? I, here I have the four inch uh, minis. I do keep the four and five inch here in this spot most of the time. I have extra cables here, the very short ones, the blue ones. Then I have these and I'll show you how I use them. I have extra tiny little short ones here. I'll show you how I use those because I stopped using DPNs, I create flexes out of those. And then I have by the length, there's two big pockets here. I have the shorter ones, red cables and swifts, uh, whatever I use, a lot of cables and longer cables here. Um, and then some extra storage here where I would keep the um, gauge rulers, the uh, size needle size rulers. And there is a pretty big pocket here, which I'm still, this one got smoother. It's very rough, rough zipper. But I have the uh, crochet hooks back from, oh my gosh, when I was like 10 or something. It was um, still in Russian. And it was 2 rubles and 50 cents, whatever it is, you know. And then um, the cable helper. I have some uh, stoppers or stitch uh, keepers. I have tape measure, all kinds of stuff there. And I usually keep uh, some kind of stitch markers there. Right now they're out. All right, so 
this is the utility roll and i do like it but i do not like that the needles just fall out and the flap doesn't hold it it just won't hold it even if you roll it tight it's still not holding it together and well this yeah i don't mind buckling it up all the time but sometimes it just gets annoying because i have to get it out in out in out um, and then i have an extra thing here it's just uh, grippies and uh, the high highest grippies work better for me than the old chegus but the new chegus the thinner ones actually quite good with time they all kind of dull out grease out i don't know what they are they just stop working but just extra scissors all that stuff is right here so this is a good uh, utility roll that's just my opinion and if you don't mind i have a lot of needles and they still fall out can you imagine if you only have uh, two tips per each slot they will fall out so i don't like it it makes it less organized and um, i just i just need something more sturdier than this but it's a good all-in-one. This will keep everything that you need, probably. One of the best solutions is Gracie's cases. Um, pretty soft. Uh, she does only material, no leather. Um, but they, and they're, they come in different sizes. This is the biggest one. It will hold everything. And what I like about it, you can actually write the whatever it is. If you keep just cables here, the length of the cable, I have a lot of Haya Haya's uh, fixed needles, so they're kept here in, in the pockets. And then um, these come out, you can unzip them, and you can keep all kinds of extra stuff there, whatever you need. I have my uh, row counter and scissors and all kinds of goodies there. And then on the opposite side, you can see this is what I like the most the tips are kept uh, safely here but then there's always elastic and this is what i like the most because they just don't fall out they stay put so i do have a lot of high highs um, i use them interchangeably high highs are sharper and will um it will your fingers will feel it so i do prefer chegus over high highs chegus are, are my workhorse and chegus have better cables High highs, uh, the memory, you can you can tell here they are. This is the, the green ones, the blue ones are slightly more flexible and less um, do not have such a great memory as, as these ones, the, the green ones. But um, they don't really come undone in the little pocket here. I just have extra grippies. I use them all the time. Um, high highs don't come undone for me um, as often. And then there's another pocket. Just keep these. I don't use anymore. I'm not sure why I keep them here. I use Flexi, uh, Barber, the Flexis, whatever they are. I'm trying to find one, but it's not here. So I don't use these anymore. Um, to keep the sleeves or stitches on, I use the Flexi cords. And then extra storage for larger needles here. Um, all of these goodies. So these are the best cases that i have found um all of the links for all of the cases will be provided down below in the description mood case i do love mood products um this one is decent i do like some things about it and i don't like some things about it i can never um get to use this one because it's already it's not even filled with needles but it's pretty tight so this maybe um, just wasn't that well thought through what I do like about it is because it's leather the needles do not need elastic and they just stay put so they they pretty they sitting pretty tight in their pockets I use it only for large needles at this point because I have some other storage uh, that I like to use for my small needles but this is decent. This is really, really good. Um, I still have some space for maybe minis uh, or gauge rulers. And then I have some storage here for tape measure, some cables right there, maybe different length 
uh, lengths of the cables would be in different pockets. And then I have this one huge pocket right there for anything else that I want to use. My uh, beef with this is even if I use the big pocket, which I would love to use, I do not have, if I will fold it, this is where it will lock. So I need it somewhere here, not there, because I can't even use it. Like it's, it's really just not, not feasible. So that's what I do not and like about mood. Most of my needles are in Maxwell utility, utility roll. Um, if you buy the Uchegu sets separately, I do not have bamboo ones. I used to, but I do not have the bamboo ones, which is the original of Chegu. I have the metal ones only. If I need to use wooden ones, I would use Luca. Um, these ones are always metal. They are perfect tip, perfect uh, sharpness. They are everything for me. So the sets. The sets come in a case like this, and you can get a complete set uh, ranging from size 2 or 2.75 millimeter needles to uh, US 15 or 10 millimeter needles. You can also get just the small ones. This part will be filled, and this part will be empty or large. This part will be empty, and this will be filled with needles and cables and the rest. The cables for small different in size than uh, at the join than the large ones. They come in four and five inch. And this is what I use uh, in every project. Necklines four inch, then I switch to five inch for maybe working sleeves in the round or the body. So I need both constantly. What I also use is let me show you this. I used to use double DPNs, but I don't use them anymore. This is the set that I still have, but these always fall out. I still have to organize them and I do not use them anymore. They're not comfortable for me to use. I constantly dig with my fingers um, into my paws. So these are would be a no for me. What I do use is either these or these. Which ones do I prefer? I prefer the X-Flex cables over Swift 360 because the join here is not smooth and yarn gets caught on it. So I do not like them. I do like the cable itself. It's thinner than the red twist or the blue ones, but, and more flexible actually, much more flexible, but the join is not good. And a lot of people agree with me. The join is just not up to par. Most swivel ones will give you the trouble of catching yarn. It's not chagu, it's just the way that they're designed. What do I do with these? Because I have multiples of tips and I make sure that I have six, at least six of each. I will attach one tip to one end and then the second tip to the other. And this is your perfect flexible DPN. There you go. So this is how you use it. I will link um, this below. You can find, you can buy the cables separately. I buy them on Etsy. I will link it below. But um, just find your source of, of these. You can buy them in packs of multiples. Uh, you can just buy one. But these, I found a great way to create DPNs, uh, flexible DPNs. I would like to address one thing. I wish that Chegu would improve it uh, because they usually, the needles and cables usually stay put, especially if you use greepies and uh, tighten them up or the tightening tool. But here's the difference. This is gold tip needle. Uh, these never come undone for me. The difference is in that this part that joins the cable to the needle. You can see that this part is much is longer and wider than Chagu's. So, and this is the same size of needle. If they would be 
the same, then Chegu would win. But so far, this is the best join that I've seen. Um, the smoothest best join that I've seen would be the gold tip. So this is the difference, and this is what holds the needle and the cable. For interchangeable, these, uh, this difference, uh, it's, it's a must to have this sturdier join. In Forte set, we got introduced to a different kind of needle. Um, these are very smooth. This is wood, and this is the metal part. If you can go ahead and watch my review on the Forte set, it'll give you all of the details of construction, what it is, um, and we'll tell you more about all of this. But it's the same join. Um, the needles are consistent. It's just that this part was replaced by wood. It's warmer, it's more flexible. Uh, it breaks too. Uh, from the comments that I get, mine didn't. And sometimes I do knit very tightly, but mine's, mine are okay. But I hear that these get detached or unscrewed and um, this breaks. Um, I doubt you will find the set anywhere, but if you do, uh, try it out. I really like it and enjoy it. Um, the rest is pretty consistent, the same. Uh, the tips look slightly longer and thinner, but they actually uniform. They're the same as the metal needle. Shorties. Shorties are different in size. The red ones you will have from uh, size 0 or 2 millimeter to size 3 or 3.25 millimeter needles. They will have the mini cables. The mini cables are very thin with. Um, very um, very thin end join. And then the next size up would be US size 4, 3.5 millimeter through US 8 or 5 millimeter needles. These are your normal, regular, small size cables. There they are, the blue ones in here. They're not as wide as the large ones, and they're wider than the small ones, if you compare them. The blue cables are much more flexible than the red twist, but they come only in shorter lengths. Um, you will not find them in longer than, um, I think it's 9 inches. Correct me if I'm wrong. So these, and I do like them, they are very similar to red, but a little bit more flexible. All of them come with grippies. The new, the, well, these are Addies. Um, Addies I like because they are thinner and grippier, and they don't dull over time. The Chagoos, uh, most of them come with um, little boxes like that. Um, the comparison, Addies thin, um, they're grippier. These just lose grippiness over time, whether it's Chagoos or higher highs. Chagoos have the coating here, higher highs don't, so these last longer. And you can buy these separately. I would recommend just find it on Etsy or any knitting store that carries both needles will have them uh, sold separately. And then I would have the row counters here, some stitch markers, um, these are not the stitch markers from Chegu. Chegu will be thicker. I don't particularly like them because it's not easy for me if you knit fast. It's not easy for me to slip them faster, and these are the small ones. So that's what they are. Each set comes with a tightening tool. The tools are different from mini and small and large. Uh, minis are like that. And then the small and too large needles would be like this. What I prefer to use is the tightening tool from Planter and Moon. It works perfectly for higher highs, not the minis, uh, higher highs for Chegus, not the mini ones, only large and small ones. But I keep that tool because it's comfortable to hold it and comfortable to tighten it. I keep it, let me show it to you. Keep it right here. 
in my um, Maxwell roll right there. It's always there. I have quite a few of them, of the tools. What each needle gives you is that in each needle, you will have the lifeline hole. You can easily uh, put a um, thread through and have a lifeline for your knitting. That's that. You can also use these and create um, the flexi DPNs out of these needles, but you will need quite a few of these. You can use three inch and two inch, but you will need another set um, if you want three needles, full needles, then you will, oh, sorry, this is the small one. I pulled the wrong one. All right. Now you saw that it doesn't fit because it needs the um, small short cables. So these ones, I don't think uh, minis come in this length, the cables. So you can't create flexi DPNs out of the minis or out of the red shorties. So you do the same thing here, and it just creates a smaller DPN, shorter, shorter DPN. And you can use longer needle on this end. Let's say three inch here. This is the three inch one. These are the two inch ones. Just attach the two. You still will achieve the same thing. If you need different size on the other end of the needle, then just take the other size and attach it to maybe you won't even need to use it maybe you will just use this but it's flexible so it's flexible in every single way flexi cable flexible length of um, the needles that you're creating so this is what i would recommend just get a set of these and uh, you have flexible DPNs. You'll just need a couple of sets of these, two sets of those to create them. All right, these are the shorties that I have. I do not have the yellow, uh, again, because I don't use larger needles. Most of the time, this is my uh, comfortable zone. Let's talk about cables. This is the original one that I had, um, including the bamboo needles that I used to have. I don't use it anymore, but I keep it for mm, just to keep it. So this is the spin um, cable. It's it has memory. It's not good. It catches on yarn. It, it's just one of the. I I don't like this cable. I compare it to the rest of the cables that are not good. If I will compare it to signature needles, this one is more flexible, but uh, memory-wise, it's much worse. Um, so I don't lot I do not like that. The higher highest uh, still there's memory. It's similar to the original spin chegu, and I do not like it. Um, Addies, uh, different cables. This is European red one. You can find it in um, European stores, I think, only. Um, they're, they're decent. They're less memory. They have less memory. I like them. Um, some joints uh, on, on, high, on um, Addies I do not like because of the mechanism. I do like the mechanism itself, but it creates that little... Um, it's not smooth to glide stitches. So I don't particularly like the cables there. The best cables in the industry would be Chagu um, Red Twist. These are that. That's a workhorse for me. And then these I wish were in the same length because I like these even much more than the Red Twist. They're a little more flexible but they don't come in the lengths that the red twist does. The red twist um, is different for, this is for the small size. This is for the minis, right, right there. So the cable is thinner. The ones for the large size, the cables are actually the same uh, width, but the, um, this part here, the metal part is wider. 
the Swiv 360, the new stuff. I don't use them. I don't like them. The cable itself, I love. I wish that we didn't have the swivel, swivel mechanism here because it gets caught on yarn. It's not a smooth transition and um, I don't like it. In each set of Chagu, you will find little extras such as adapters. It looks like this. And the adapter is there if you have a small, um, if you have the cable for the small needles, you can just put the adapter in and that will convert it to, you'll be able to fit the large size needle here. So those are provided. If you need to transfer stitches or anything else, uh, make the cable longer. I'm trying to get the mini off the table. This is the cable connector for the mini right there. And this is size small. So you will attach it to each cable, make the cable longer, or um, just transfer the stitches uh, from a shorter cable onto the longer cable, maybe something like that. So I use it all the time. Let's compare it to some other cables in the industry that kind of kind of the same. So this is Lantern Moon. Um, fixed ones I do uh, I do like the swivel ones I don't. The fixed ones have a little smoother transition, but it's not as smooth as Chagu's. These win in the industry by a mile. These are the best cables ever. These have more memory and they're not as flexible. They, they kind of are very rigid. If I were to compare those and then gold, uh, gold tip needles have similar it's the nylon coated metal. These are more flexible than Lantern Moon, and they're also slightly thinner. Um, they do have memory. You can, you can tell they do have slight memory. So these, the best. They don't have memory. They're flexible. These are even more flexible. These are even more flexible, but the the mechanism, this is just not, not working out for a lot of people. So this is really, really great. It's very light. It's lighter material than any of these. This is a win for me. The, this, these, these cables are amazing. I wish spin ones were like this because spin ones hold like, you can tell the memory here, it's, it's pretty awful and it's not as flexible as these. These are a gem. Stoppers. Each set comes with stoppers. Uh, small ones would be these, the white ones. Uh, black ones are for the large needles. Um, they're great, they work, uh, they're perfect, and they will keep the stitches. The mini ones would be the red ones. And if you want, um, to switch it up a little bit, you can actually use higher highs. Small and minis only. Large ones do not fit, but higher highs have these round ones and they fit. This is from the small needles, they do fit. And the little bears, they do fit. They don't go all the way in, but they will do the job. So you can interchangeably use those. And again, only small and mini ones. Um, I don't have the mini one, but mini ones will look like this. The same, just um, slightly narrower, um, smaller uh, join. So that's that. There's one other little thing. Let's compare the tips. Um, this one is higher, higher. Um, it's sharp. That's the sharpest one. The tip itself, the length, comparing to Chegu is quite similar. This is Chagu too, but Forte. Um, they are identical to the metal ones. So I'm just gonna put that aside. But this one, so you see the transition to the needle base is smoother than the high highest. High highs are sharper, 
and shorter tip. I prefer a longer tip because the stitches slide smoother um, onto the needle base. These are gold tip needles. You can see that the tip itself is actually identical to Chegu. It's not too sharp. It's sharp enough, um, thin enough to get into the stitch easy. And then the tip itself is quite longer than any of them, any that I've seen. And it makes for a very smooth transition to the base of the needle and the stitches are very even, very even. So the, this is the difference between some of them. I have a few more, but they, they basically are similar. This is Signature Needle. Um, signature Needle is different. They have different tip length uh, for different size needles. Um, the gold tip, it's the same. The same uh, tip length for all the sizes. So this is quite, um, this is a little sharper than uh, than chagu this is chagu this is higher higher it's somewhere between the higher higher and chagu and again the tip is quite short i prefer a slightly longer smoother transition onto the base i hope this review was helpful please let me know if you have any questions um, ask below i will list all of the information um, about where to get the needles cases in the description below and um, i hope you liked it mm -hmm.